Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 6 of Book 6. Now, in this proposition, it states that if we have two triangles, where they have one angle that's equal, so this angle here is equal to the angle there, and the ratio of the sides of the triangle about this equal angle, so the ratio of AB to AC, will be equal to the ratio of the lines about this angle, DE and DF. So again, one equal angle and the ratio between the sides are the same for both triangles. If this condition is true, then the two triangles are equal angular. So let's begin our proof. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy a angle BAC. So BAC. So we're going to copy this angle here to the point D. And likewise, we are going to copy the angle ACB. So ACB is copied to point F. So we have gamma and beta. We have gamma and beta because the sum of all the angles in a triangle always equals 180 degrees then this angle here must also be equal to the angle here at B. Proposition 32 of Book 1, in case you're wondering. So now we have two triangles, gamma, alpha, beta, gamma, alpha, beta. These two triangles are equal angular. And because they're equal angular, then the ratio of the sides will also be equal, according to Proposition 4 of this book. So we have that AB to AC is equal to DG to DF. AB to AC, DG to DF. But AB to AC is equal to DE to DF. So we can turn around and we can just copy this bit here and place it there. So we end up with this relationship, where DE to DF is equal to DG to DF. So this is DE to DF. Now, since DE to DF equals DG to DF, we can in turn just remove this bit, and we have that DE is equal to DG. Proposition 9 of Book 5. Similarly, using exact same logic, we can prove that EF is equal to FG. I'm not going through all the details, but it works out exactly the same way. So we have that DE is equal to DG, and EF is equal to FG. Now we have that DE is equal to DG, and DF is common. There are two angles that are the same. So according to Proposition 4 of Book 1, these two triangles are equivalent. So DGF and DEF are equivalent. And if they are equivalent, that means that they are also equal angular, which means that A is equal to alpha and beta is equal to B. Well, if A is equal to alpha and beta is equal to B, that means that the original two triangles, ABC and DEF, are equal angular. And that's it for this proof.